Welcome to the Komori Connection. This series of informative videos will allow Komori to stay connected to you, our customer. Throughout this series, the Komori team will be introducing the latest in Komori Press technology. Today, we'll be learning about Komori's Smart Sequencing, an integral part of Komori's connected automation. Hi, my name is Doug Shard. I'm a Director of Product Management here at Komori, and I'd like to show you one of the really cool features on Komori, and it's called Smart Sequence. And it's the ability to pre-program up a run order of jobs based on whatever criteria we have that's important today to get the most efficiency or the most need out of the press. So I'll show you a little bit of how that works. This is the job queue that's been set up for the pre-programmed run. Now so these are plated and they're ready to go. Now we looked at that and we saw there's some short runs that we'd like to group together. And there's also a long run that we have to get done today, so we need to get that one in as well. So these are programmed up in a run order like this. It'll be the job we're running currently, then we'll go to one, two, three, four, and five. This screen is where I can preset the make, ready, and wash up steps unique to each job, so I don't have to do this as the press transitions between jobs, because it knows the sheet count. When I'm actually printing, I'll see a picture of the job that's currently running today with all the information associated with it and the make ready wash up steps. Then the press is automatically going to go to this job. I can push the button, it'll show me what it's going to happen on the next job and so on and so on. The only time the press is really going to stop is after a pre-programmed first pull so we can take a look and make sure we're getting out of the press exactly what we want for the job. So at this point, I'll let Chris take over and show you how that whole sequence works. Hi, Chris Olby here at the Komori America Graphic Training Center. I'm going to demonstrate Smart Sequence today. Smart Sequence uh, on a Komori press means that I can run multiple jobs without having to interfere anywhere on the console at all. The press will automatically sequence from one job to the next, and it will uh, perform all the make-ready functions as needed for the jobs that I'm going to run and it, uh, it won't stop unless I intervene for some reason. I'm going, to, I'm going to have to move pretty fast. I'm running 200 sheets per job and I'm going to have to get up there and get plates in position. So, uh, but uh, I'll go ahead and start the first job. It's ready to run and I'll run this one and then sequence into two additional jobs afterwards. Here we go. So the first job is now finished and the press is now doing a, a P2 ink up which is going to put my new job profile onto the ink rollers. It's, it should give me enough ink for the amount of coverage that I'm going to run. The last sheets that ran on the previous job uh, performed an ink remove function which took my ink film down to a startup level and the P2 function will now put the new profile on the rollers. So. After the press automatically changes plates, it will run my first 20 sheets and I can make a poll and see how my how KHS AI did on my P2 ink up. So the P2 function is finished. Next thing you're going to hear is the press is going to start to do a plate change. And uh, after it hangs plates, it will run my first 20 sheets on the next job. Prior to hanging the plates, the press went to a zero register position. It's now going to hang my four plates, and after the plates are hung, the press will idle for a few seconds and go back to my previous register position, which should, should give me a sellable uh, fit on my first pull on the next job. So when I sent this job down, uh, my, one of my quick keys here I use, it's, it's uh, pre-programmed for a standard uh, make ready. It's, uh, it's doing a P2 ink up, it did a plate change, and then it automatically will run my first 20 sheets and I can make a poll and determine whether it's runnable or not from there. Uh, this is set up, I can, I can tell the press to do whatever I want it to do for the make ready, uh, but I do have quick keys set up for my typical make ready scenario. Going from one job to the next, I do a P2 ink up as opposed to a P1 ink up things like that that can vary from job to job. But once I send them down to the press, they're re ready to go. I have the right uh, functions happening when I need them to happen. So if you can hear it, I don't know, but the music stopped. That tells us that the plate change is finished. Now the press is gonna start up and run my first 20 sheets. I always, we like to run 20 sheets at Komori because 20 sheets 
at 20 sheets, I can tell how good my ink up program is and uh, whether it needs to be uh, improved or not. Uh, I can also check for defects at 20 sheets. I don't have to run 200 before to determine that uh, the job has a typo in it. So I'm scanning my first pull. We'll see how she looks. So color looks looks good. I can run that and see how register looks. I may make a I may make a register move before I start up. Needs a little bit of work. I'm going to go ahead and make that adjustment, and I'm going to start this job up. And uh, it is a 200 sheet job. So it's going to go pretty fast. Once I start the job up, I got to run up there and get my next set of plates in position. So you won't see me for long. Here we go. Okay, so the P2 function is finished. Uh, we're going to hear the press go ahead and change uh, the set of plates that I just put in position. And once those plates are changed, it will start up and run my first 20 sheets of the last job. So we should see three jobs run in sequence without any uh, interruption and uh, with no intervention by me except to put plates in and, and make sure I got ink in the fountains. Third job is ready to go.